everyone. Okay, so let's first start off by doing some comparing. What is heavier? A watermelon, which I don't have one right now, or a loaf of bread? Probably the watermelon, right? They're much heavier. What about which one is longer? A pencil or a paper clip? Definitely the pencil. While John the Baptist told people to get ready for Jesus, when John compared himself to Jesus, he knew Jesus was greater than him. And John was happy to step aside for Jesus to begin his work. So in our story today, John told people to follow Jesus. But first, our Bible memory verse. Has anyone memorized the verse yet? Remember the super short one that says, He must increase, but I must decrease. John 3.30. And then we can do it with hand motions, right? He must increase, but I must decrease. So our key passage comes directly from the story we will learn about today. John did not want people to argue whether John or Jesus was more important. John knew the answer is Jesus. John wanted everyone else to know it too. John the Baptist told people to follow Jesus. He said that he must decrease and Jesus must increase. And the song we are learning is Jesus Messiah. And the second verse goes, His body the bread, his blood the wine, broken and poured out, all for love. The whole earth trembled and the veil was torn. Love so amazing, love so amazing. Jesus Messiah, name above all names. Blessed Redeemer, Emmanuel, the rescue for sinners, the ransom from heaven. Jesus Messiah, Lord of all. Okay, that's do our story now. So a couple of weeks back, we learned that Jesus obeyed God by being baptized. God announced his love for Jesus and the Holy Spirit landed on Jesus like a dove. The Holy Spirit then led Jesus into the wilderness where Satan tried to trick Jesus and make him sin. Jesus was tempted and never sinned. He remained perfect and was able to be the perfect sacrifice. Today, we will learn about what John the Baptist taught about Jesus when Jesus began traveling around teaching, healing, and baptizing people. So Jesus and his disciples went out into the countryside and people came to see him, to see them, and Jesus taught the people. Many were baptized too. Nearby, John the Baptist was baptizing people too. Some of the people who followed John got into an argument and they went to John. Teacher, they say, remember the man you talked about? The one who was with you on the other side of the Jordan River? His disciples are baptizing people and people are starting to follow him. So John's followers were talking about Jesus and John answered them. You heard me say that I am not the Messiah. I am the messenger who goes before him to announce that he is coming. This was true. John had said, someone greater than me is coming. I am not worthy to remove his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. John tried to explain by talking about a wedding. So when two people get married, the man who marries the bride is the groom. His friends stand with him at the wedding and he's happy to be there and hear the groom's voice. John also knew that the wedding is the groom's special day. The groom's friend should not make it about himself. That was how John felt, like the groom's friend, because he was happy that Jesus, the Messiah, had come. John said he must increase but I must decrease, just like our verse, right? Then John explained why Jesus was import, more important than himself. John was from the earth and he could only talk about things on earth. Jesus, the one who comes from heaven, talked about things in heaven because he has seen them. Still, no one believed what Jesus said. Whoever believes Jesus knows that God tells the truth. God sent Jesus to earth and Jesus speak God's word. The Father loves the Son, and has given him power over everything. Whoever believes in the Son will have eternal life, but whoever refuses to believe in the Son will not have eternal life. He will never be able to get away from God's judgment. So the story point is that John the Baptist told people to follow Jesus. In our story, 
John the Baptist told people to get ready for Jesus, the promised Messiah. Now that Jesus was on earth, John's mission was complete. Jesus was greater than John, and John joyfully stepped aside as Jesus began his earthly ministry. So let's do a comparison of John and Jesus, just to see why is Jesus greater than John. So first, who were they, right? John was not the Messiah. He was the friend. Jesus was the Messiah. He was the groom. He was the groom in the story. What about where did it come from? Well, John was from the earth and he belonged to the earth. But Jesus comes from above and is above all. So Jesus is from heaven. What about what did he do? Well, John was a witness to the light. He was a voice in the wilderness. And Jesus is the word dog, right? John told people to get ready for the Messiah and he baptized with water. But Jesus, he baptized with the Holy Spirit. And why were they here? Why were they here on earth? Well, John went before Jesus and rejoiced with him. And Jesus, he came to give eternal life. Okay, so let's go over the big picture question for this unit. Why did Jesus become human? Jesus became human to obey his Father's plan and rescue sinners. So Jesus became human to rescue sinners. Jesus came to earth from heaven. John told people to follow Jesus. Jesus was the one who could rescue them. Jesus was the one who could forgive their sin. Whoever believes in Jesus will live forever with God in heaven. And here is our catechism question. What did Christ undertake in the covenant of grace? And the answer is to keep the whole law for his people and to suffer the punishment due to their sin. So earlier we talked about the words to the song Jesus Messiah. And now you can ask your parents to let you listen to it and watch it. I also send your parents um, copies of activity sheets that will help you remember the story. And so let me go over the verse one more time. Where is our verse? Oh, one. Here it is. John 3.30. He must increase, but I must decrease. And now let's pray, okay? Dear God, we thank you for John the Baptist who prepared the way for Jesus and told people about Jesus. Help us to also tell others about Jesus. We also thank you for your word in the Bible so that we can learn about you and be more like you. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.